G'day YouTube, down to Bricks here. What you building? We've got the Droid Escape Pod for you guys today. Set 75136 has 197 pieces and 4 minifigs. Let's go and check those figs out. Now don't you just love these little jowers? They have some awesome printing on them. They are the same ones that came in the UCS sand crawler, so it's great to get them in a cheaper set. And just to have a better look at that torso printing, the one on the left is the same one we got in the 2015 Star Wars Advent Calendar. And we get some great detail printing on the rear of the torso as well. And on to the main stars of the set, C-3PO and R2-D2. Now R2 is the same print as what we've been getting in the last couple of years and it's a fantastic looking print. And C-3PO is an all new figure for this set. Now I think we have had these different printed elements in different sets before, but this is the first time it's all put together. So this is the same leg print as the UCS Sandcrawler C-3PO, but a different torso print. And a squiz from the back. So this is the third time we have got a set like this from LEGO. And straight off the bat I have to say that this is the best escape pod that I think we have gotten. Certainly a lot more has gone into the build of it. I really like the interior as well. So there's a pod from the front and that is a printed trans piece. Very nice looking piece that one. We get some nice greeble detail on this as well. I really like the engine design. They are stickers on the inside of the panels there. And I really like the interior design, which of course you can sit the minifigs in. Which is really cool. And at the controls we get a stickered display panel. But the thing I really love about this set is you can lift that out. And we have the Death Star plans. And that is a printed tile. And just to give you a closer look at that. Now it wouldn't be a watcher building review without a comparison, so I'm going to compare it to another Droid Escape set, and this is from 2001. So this is set 7106, 45 pieces, and just came with two minifigs. Now I think we can all agree that it's a massive improvement on the 2001, and even right down to the minifigs, but I have to say there is one thing about the 2001 set that beats the 2016, and that is the panel pieces are printed. And even though I think the 2016 one is better, I've got a real soft spot for this 2001, just because it's such an old Star Wars set. It was gifted to me, so it holds a special place. But as I mentioned, there was one other, and that was back in 2012. It was set 9490. Now, I did get that set for the minifigs because it had some awesome minifigs. So, of course, you get C-3PO and R2-D2, but we got two Sand Troopers, and they were absolutely awesome looking sand troopers i really love those i look back now and i really wish i had bought more of that set just to get more sand troopers i have picked more up over the years just of the minifigs themselves but when that set was out i wish i had got more i didn't think too much of the set i didn't keep it together i didn't actually even build it i just bought the set and took the minifigs out so I'm really happy that LEGO revisited this set. So let's go now and I'll give you my final thoughts. Well, okay guys, now we've seen the figs and we've had a look around the pod. What are my thoughts? I actually think this is a pretty neat little build. As we saw in the comparison that we did have some stickers here to really highlight this set. And it can be a pain putting stickers on accurately on the rounded surfaces. So that is a real drawback to this set. But I really don't think LEGO could do any more with actually building the escape pod up. So a lot of pieces went into it. And overall, I think it looks really good. And unlike the 2012 version, I'll actually be keeping this one together and putting it up on display. Again, I think it's a set that the young ones are really going to like. we got a good assortment of minifigures. 
I really like it that people with limited budgets can actually get their hands on the Jowers for the first time. Again, it's a really good looking C-3PO as well. So I give this set the thumbs up. But what do you guys think? Belt it all down in the comments. Let's have a chat about it. I'd love to hear from you. Head over to the side of the screen there and hit that thumbs up button. That'd be sweet. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because I've got heaps more Lego videos for you guys on the way. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.